hi everyone welcome back to s code in this video we are going to learn this css complete font property css property inside of the css property that is the font property so we are going to learn this complete tutorial about this font property we will make it the practical for this font property css basically font group of property and this font in this font property in css font property how much property we can use inside of this font property group of property so here i have written some font property that is font family font size font style and this one is font variant line height and font group of property this one is last group of font group of property it will be the this is very shortened shortened things it is with this using this only font property you can write this all of this property and we will explain that and we will go practical this how we can do it so let's go here this index.html file and here you can see i have write a container class and this title and some paragraph and one link and this this coding this viewpoint we are watching this one this is a chrome browser so you can see this browser and you can see here this is the viewpoint on this and which came on this this html code we have handled by this style.css file so here you can find this all of this style file here i have added here so this one is style file so i want to remove this font family from here this so that we can go this spectacle here so this was universal selector so i removed that so and now let's see that what is the viewpoint okay so you can see that now the viewpoint is like this okay this is the basic viewpoint and we just write and this we just handle style css and this is the basic view there is no other exception we have used it here so let's go use that this all of this font property one by one so first of all we are going to apply this font property so let's there is font property that is font family so let's go to our style file and we want to apply this font property on this here we have title so we want to apply this font property on this title so you can see here is our title class in this style file so let's apply this font family okay font family we can type here any type of font property here so here i'm going to add a basic is basically this is sans strip so it will be set as sans strip and you can see that this font property this one is this font style is this font property and this font family is what changes here so if you want to write here this special this want to make it the exceptionally so you want to make one property this one font family property will be applied here so here we can type a arial arial property okay i made it cap so let's cap it and remove here arial property and enter that a comma and then we can select that and you can see this type of this is showing here like this so you can add a arial property that is okay so here we can apply robot to font property so here is we are going to using that this robot to font property that is all of this robot to group of font property okay let's type it again so here is the robot to font property that is this robot to font property and why we write this lot of this or type of this font property so that's was a because of one of this current reason is here so that is when we are opening this website using some browser if there this browser is not supported that font property so that's why if we want to write that only that roboto font property but it will be show only if this browser is supported roboto so then it will be show that roboto property is applying in this browser but if the browser is not have the roboto font family so then it can be used this similar font family like this api system this bank my system font and origin event to and open sensitive have help with a new and this sans strip so this type of font property it can be applied like this and if this browser is not find this all properties so it's have a sans strip so it means the responsive font so it means responsive font and this our browser what property we are using that the same type of look property this sans strip will be applied from this browser own property so you can use that like this type of font family property like this so now let's go here this the next property or is font size so we are going to applying this font size on this this as code learning code so we are going to apply here okay no i think i should apply this in this paragraph because this text is small here so let's go here this paragraph property okay here is a container p so there is a paragraph property so we have to remove that this previous tutorial code okay now we have this property is font size so here we have already font size so let's remove that property so here is i will write this font size 
so here is the font size and now we can use that a value for this we can type this value is like a this pixel ram emitter and we can also provide that a percentage font property so here for example i'm typing that font property here in pixel that is 30 pixel and when we save this you can see this text is getting increased at this size so when we can apply this a ram property so if we applying here one ram so it's also changed you can see this one ram property size is like this so if you increase this ram so for example i'm using that four ram so you can see this this increasing his front property size and we can apply also the emitter that is m so we can apply this also increasing okay now let's see that that how it's affected on this this one is and this is the basic font property by default so if you want to make this font property this font weight size font sizes we want to apply this 200 percent so it will be this basic property to it will be increased at 200 percent so if we apply this you can see this 200 percent increase this font size so let's comment this so this font size is gone so now the next one is the font style we can style our font style the text sizes like this so let's save this first file and now we'll apply here this font style will apply on this title so here is title so here we will apply this font style so here is font style basically we have some so lot of property that is italic normal oblique calcinate so lot of property that is normal basically it will be no change it's a simple property but we can apply here this italic when we apply this italic you can see this text is getting some rotation here on this x direction it was getting some rotation but when a browser doesn't have italic property font style so then we can apply here oblique so oblique property it will be forced to the property goes to the italic here so you can see this oblique and this also a rotation mode so this oblique this property will be applied for this text if the browser doesn't have italic property so it will be applied to force italic property this obligation so you can comment this and now let's go to here the next property is font variant so let's style this save this font variant so for this we can apply this on this p tag that is parallel so here we will apply this font variant so font variant property there we can write this normal but normal will be no changes here so here we can apply this a small cap so a small cap this property is work for that this text will be capital but it will be from a starting to end it will be from increase to decrease in this font size so let's see the viewpoint you can see this one is capital and this one text is you can see it was the increase this size and this the later by later in this on this line is till the end this property and this all of this text is getting the small here and this but this all of text is and this all of word is this all of word that will be a capital letter but it will be decrease that size from the start to end so here we can apply this type of this font variant property okay so now let's go to the next property is line height so line height property we can use it on this p tag that is para tag web height so here we are going to apply that line height property so line height property is basically work for this the placing the gap in every line so if we make this graph progressing here so if this property so first of all we need to set here a font size okay so let's set a font size set a font size here i'm going to set 20 pixel so this is the font size this line height basically we depended on this font size of pixel here so if you want to make this line height is 20 pixel so it will be make this all of this line this inside of this line gap will be zero here so let's see that and you can see this all of this line inside this gap is getting zero here so i want to if you want to make this gap is want to make it 10 pixel so you can set here it will be 30 pixel so you can see we have some in every line we have this 10 pixel this of this space on every line gap so you can use this type of line height property and this next one is we have a font group property so this is a font group property and here we can apply this all of this font property in one line so let's enter here okay let's comment this for this line height this we want to make it we have this another properties we are going to explain here this is font to it so that is one is font weight so font weight is basically we use that blood blotter and it's normal lighter so here we are going to apply that lighter so if we make it lighter it will be no sense it will be by similar here and if we make it normal so it will be also the no sense here so if we make it blot 
so it will be change this font size you can see the font is broad font weight basically it was means that the fat size of this size fat so you can see like this and now we can remove this if we type here this broader so it will be also the value here so let's save this it's also making a broader but this broader is not only broader broader have some so mass of value here there is 100 to 900 that we can type here this font weight value so if we type here this 100 and save it you can see this text uh, this fat is very decreasing here and now if we make this here this we are applying here this here i'm applying this 700 so it will be a blot you can see this text was getting blot and if we apply here this 900 so it was also getting this blot so we can apply this property for this this font weight property we can apply is at least max to max we can apply this up to 900 say 100 to 900 by default line and so now we are going to apply this font universal property this is this is called a font property but it's a universal font property so you can apply here this only font so for this item we are going to apply for this so here we are going to first apply this font family name so here i'm going to apply this arial arial and after this property arial this is first one is this font family and then we will enter this font size okay so for this font family we have entered here so now for this font size i want to make it some later this about that so now let's style this font style so now we will type here this italic and after this italic and now let's one more space and after that italic style and now italic now font family is done and now we'll set this line height font go sorry font variant and line height so here first of all we are going to add a font variant so here i'm typing that small caps and this one is almost completed and now we'll set this font size so there we have this 30 20 pixel is by default but we want to make it some dictates pixel so 30 pixel and we want to add this line height on this but before this we can try it any line height by this this one is direct in line so we want to make a slash using here and then we have to use that this line height so after adding this so here now we want to make it but we want to decrease in height that property and now we can see okay now let's and you can see this type of this font property this is all is applying here like this so you can see arial font family this one is arial applying here this content p and there is a small caps italics caps this you can all of this line property and you can use this one line here okay now let's comment this and now so for this type of this all of this font property you can see like this so hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please like on this and share this with your friends and please subscribe and thanks for watching